Hi guys, this is a continuation of the Mars Hydro when I was making my first video of the plant. Not the plant, but when I went to switch it over to the thing to hold it, it stopped the recording. So I'm just continuing on where I was, not going to go over everything again. But just to verify uh, the par, that I haven't changed anything. Par, still the same. Actually, I got a little bit more centered. So it was like at 1550, 1526, something like that. Anyway, same thing as well. Show it at 18 inches. 18 inches. Alright, so go ahead and turn this off. Take it apart again. Hopefully, nothing gets lost this time. Part again. And so this has six screws. Hold the top. One on each side. And then two on the front and back. six out top's gonna come right off inside you'll have your two LED drivers your fan your uh, where your power cord plugs in uh, your LED panel here your heat sink and your two cords to plug in your power, your drivers to the panel so Mine, I've already messed with this light so many times, uh, taking it apart, putting it back together, mixing the things, blah, 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 whatever. Um, yours, when you go to take yours apart, yours will probably have a zip tie holding these two together. Also, um, if your light is still under manufacturer warranty, uh, probably wouldn't want to go ahead and do this modification just because um, chances are if they catch wind that you do this modification, that it's probably going to avoid your warranty. That's that. I was holding the panel in to the casing is four screws, one in each corner. Go ahead and remove those. There's going to be a white plastic washer with each. So after you get this removed, this is going to pull right out, and this is what your panel looks like. Right, zoom this in, 
and we will see the panel real close. Okay, so take off an LED holder. This is what your lens holder looks like. Now, this is what it being modified. Now, when you order your lenses, when they come with a lens holder, it's not going to have this little groove in it right here. I actually took the soldering iron here and melted this out and then trimmed it with a razor. Um, your stock ones will look like this. So you will need to modify this. You can, it might be easier for you or whoever is doing this for you to do it another way, but the easiest way I found to do it, the safest way without breaking this, was to use my soldering iron with the set tip and melt this part. Now you can go all the way through or you can just mount it to a certain depth. Now the reason you have to modify this to make this work is because like I said before all these um, better panels whether it be from Mars Hydro or any other company have this little chip in here. can't remember the exact name but basically what it does is when one of these LEDs overheat, burn out, um, for whatever reason stop working, this keeps your panel still working. It lets the power um, continue through this even though the power is no longer continuing through the LED's diode. So if you go to try putting one of these over this, it's going to sit on it, but it's going to be at an angle. As you can see here, it's at an angle, so it's pointing this way. And now if I was to do that on all of them, it doesn't really sit on there too well and tight either. Um, so when you go put it on, now you do have to put the LED lens into the holder uh, so you just snap in. Put it back on, line that up. There you go. Not very hard. Um, there's 60 of these, so I did that for all 60 of them. Like I said, drastically increases your PAR, but in doing so, your footprint will be reduced with this light to a 12 by 12. Um, if you are planning on doing this to your light, um, keep in mind when you do this, you're going to have amazing PAR at uh, 14, 1500 range at 18 inches that will kill all of your plants no matter what you put underneath it with that kind of bar so I would not use it at 18 inches I'd probably go maybe three feet check it at three feet um, see what you're gonna get then that's gonna also help um, with your spread you might gain a little bit of footprint back when you're hanging it that high um, Another thing you could do is if you didn't want to leave uh, the LED lenses and holders over every single diode and take it and cover every single diode, you can modify it to only cover certain ones. So you don't have to cover all of them. So it's like you could do a setting where you leave the outside ones here uncovered. and just focus on the inside ones. Now, in doing that, you are going to be creating more of a hot spot than you're already going to have in the first place, but this will help recover some of the lost footprint that you're going to have. And you can just leave it like that. Now, I can plug it back in real quick and show you. I'm not going to hook it chain it all back up and everything but I can show you what it would look like with that That's what it would look like right there, outside, 
LEDs are now glowing with no lenses, but your inside ones are all using the lenses. Now if your PAR is going to drop, don't know exactly, haven't tested it, but your PAR is probably going to drop with a setup like that from 1500 um, down into, um, I guess, maybe 1000, 1300, somewhere around there, maybe even below. But you might pick up um, an inch or two each way with your footprint. So depends on what you're looking for. If you're only trying to grow one one plant underneath this light, and you want to give it the most light you can possibly give it, this is an easiest way to do it to get the par. Like I said, in my experience, anything generally over 650, 700 is going to burn your plant and kill your plant. Um, so it's really what you want to do, but that is my, that is my video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask as always, like, and subscribe till the next one. Bye.